The Mesoamerican Reef is the second largest reef in the world, home to abundant marine life. But in October 2016, the government opened up the area for seismic testing. This testing sends loud pulses of sound into the seafloor in the quest for new oil. Imagine a sound a hundred thousand times louder than a jet engine every 10 seconds, 24 hours a day. To marine mammals, the consequences are huge. Marine mammals use sound for navigation. In a process called echolocation, they send out a sound wave and listen for an echo. These seismic surveys could impede on their ability to echolocate to find their food, their families, or even navigate. So, a team of concerned scientists and artists headed out to sea to find out how much seismic testing will impact life on the Mesoamerican Reef. Since very little is known about the marine mammals in this region, they started with the basics of what kind and how many marine mammals actually live there. Photographic surveys are the standard way scientists track populations of dolphins and whales. Dolphin! You see, to the casual observer, dolphins all look pretty similar. But look closely, and each scar, each mark, and curve in their fin is unique, kind of like a fingerprint. These animals come in big groups, and so you see a lot of animals, they've got a lot of spotting patterns, a lot of pigmentation, and in the photos we were able to look at aspects that, uh, scarring that might be related to fisheries, so things that they might have gotten from fishing nets. We can look at little marks on the animal's mouth uh, that you can identify across photos, and, and I thought that that was really great, that in just a handful of photos we got, we can pick out the one animal, and, and you get to tell like a story about it. The Hello Ocean team also planted acoustic receivers in the ocean and launched them directly from the boat. These underwater microphones listen for and record dolphin and whale sounds. Much like a cell tower can locate a phone's position, with a few microphones in the water, the scientists can estimate the position of a marine mammal based on the distance and direction of their vocalization, a process called triangulation. It's a good method of being able to show essentially the movement patterns of where the animals are. That's primarily what's important about using an underwater microphone like this. That you can leave it for a month at a time and just be able to tell that there are bottlenose dolphins here, there are common dolphins here, the pan-tropical spotted dolphins that we saw that we have very little information about in Belize. Having passive acoustic recorders set up all over these habitats can tell us what animals are there and that's the most important information that we get from these kinds of systems. Noise isn't the only thing that threatens these animals. Plastic pollution is everywhere. As a material that never really biodegrades, it can accumulate in really tiny pieces. We're looking at microplastics that are floating on the surface of the ocean, and we're uh, determining the concentration of plastic in a certain area of the ocean. So we do transects, and we drop a piece of equipment called a mantatrol off the back of this catamaran. All right, you got it? And this is actually acts as a little trap for the microplastics. So we're inspecting each piece of sargassum really carefully to make sure that there's not visually microplastics. And then we're dipping this in water or you hose it off um, with clean water to uh, wash any microfibers or anything smaller that we can't see into the bucket. Not every form of pollution can be collected in a net. So, the scientists collect dolphin skin samples to measure toxin levels. The toxins in these dolphins come from plants and small fish. It works its way up the food chain all the way to the dolphins, who store it in their fat. So what will happen with all this information? With a greater understanding of life in the Mesoamerican Reef, these scientists 
are better equipped to advocate for the dolphins and whales and other marine life in this area. Advocating for the environment doesn't just stop with the government. That's where the artists come in. Inspired by their experiences, they will work with the scientists to create new ways of sharing this information with the greater public. Hello Ocean's mission is to support ocean science through collaborative expeditions and multimedia projects.